This is probably the most devastating loss that has had the biggest impact on Dirk and his career. I'm talking about his cousin, Nooski. Now, Nooski was in the background of the This Ain't What You Want video with Lil Dirk. And apparently, at the filming of this music video, there were many members in attendance from a whole variety of different Chicago street crews. 300, 600, OTF, Mubu, Dro C, Dog Pound, Lamron, Face World, and apparently more, all had different affiliates hanging out on that video set, no problems. But apparently, after the dust settled, it emerged that beef had sparked off between members of these crews, possibly the result of someone having stolen some jewelry, which kicked off a bitter beef. Now there's a long history of the many intertwined beefs that Dirk and Nooski have been associated with over the years. That's not what this video is about. But let's just say in the years that followed Nooski appearing in that video alongside Lil Dirk, he would attract numerous enemies who would wish harm on him. And one of those people was a guy named Mubu Crump. He'd been involved in numerous altercations with Dirk and Nooski's OTF crew, including a big fight between the Mubu and OTF crews at a TI in-store in September 2014, where both Dirk and Mubu Crump were present. And over the years, there's been numerous numerous escalations of this beef, including OTF affiliate Lil Vani being shot and paralyzed, with Mubu Crump mocking this situation on social media in some pretty disrespectful scenes. Hey Vern, do this bro. Oh, you put you in that thing, you gotta learn how to use it bro, you gonna beat him up for fail. Cause if you get out, you put you back in, kid. Alright. Right. Crump also rapped about Varney's injuries in his song OTFK. Put the muscle in the Fellow Chicago OG King Louie was shot in the head with that reportedly having something to do with this beef. And in a tragic turn of events, OTF Toon, who's actually Rondo No. 9's cousin, was murdered in a grisly hit where both him and his 62-year-old grandmother were shot in the head. They are a grandmother and her grandson. The two of them had been sitting in a minivan. This was at 79th and Laughlin when a gunman opened fire. The grandson was killed killed. The grandmother now in critical condition. So that's a lot of grisly bloodshed in the streets. And story goes, as a result, Nooski was rolling pretty deep in the streets of Chicago, always ready for trouble if his enemies pulled up. This got to the point where apparently Nooski was so well known for carrying guns, he got the nickname Nunu Got The Strap. And well, living this lifestyle often can only end up with one tragic end. And realizing this, at a certain point, Nooski's cousin Dirk wanted to get him far away from the beasts in the streets and into a safer career in the music industry. So Dirk tried everything he could to get Nooski into the studio and out of the streets, turning Nooski's nickname from having guns in the streets to his musical trademark, preparing him to release his first project, Nooski Got The Strap. So with Dirk's help, Nooski was picking up a buzz in the rap game and grinding hard in the studio, well away from the streets. Now man, since the last interview, man, what's been popping with you, man? Shit, man, it's been working. I'm in the studio 24-7, you hear me? Yeah. That's some new shit dropping, man. And Nooski was popping up on songs collaborating with Lil Dirk too. Tracks like At The Top and OC, so you could tell that Nooski was headed in the right direction in life with Dirk's help. In fact, even when he was interviewed in this Zach TV interview on his block, Nooski said himself that he was trying to focus on the music and get out of the streets at this point in his life. They got these streets, man. Much shit rough out here, you hear me? You get caught lagging, it's all bad for your ass, you know? But all this fame and his affiliations with Dirk made Nooski a big target. Around this time, apparently Dirk was dissing a lot of the ops from 051, Young Money, and Mubu, who OTF was still at war with. One particular instance of big disrespect from Lil Dirk came after the Lil Mark incident. Lil Mark from 051 had actually dissed Dirk's OTF crew on his track No Competition and ended up getting gunned down at a bus stop only a few days after. Once Lil Mark had been killed, Dirk piled on the disrespect, even making a social media post purporting to be at the bus stop where Lil Mark was gunned down. Bus stop, man. Hey, this this hey 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 this bus stop right here though. This this, this is a real famous place, yeah. This is a real famous place, big. Now, while this disrespect was going on, Mubu Crump spent some time in jail. And while he's there, a couple of things happen. His close friend Kurt Mack from Dro City was killed as part of the ongoing war in the streets. Kurt Mack was actually the uncle of 051 Melly, a serious and feared gangster from 051 who became close friends with Mubu Crump whilst they were both in jail. Together, Crump and Melly joined forces to wage a serious vendetta against Dirk and his crew. Crump, Melly, and anyone around Mubu or 051 were desperate to kill Dirk but couldn't get to him. So so apparently they would settle for anyone even remotely close to Dirk. I tell you what, Mubu Crump was truly bloodthirsty. I mean, he had been seen in numerous social media posts, rolling around the city with big guns looking for ops. A lot of fake shit going on. This ain't fake though. 
That motherfucker ain't fake, man. In fact, in the days leading up to the incident in question, Nooski was seen beefing heavily with his opposition online. This included a tense back and forth with FBG Duck from Tukaville, with Nooski calling Duck a goofy, and Duck calling him just another clown joining the circus. Nooski went on to suggest that he knows Duck's location because of the women that he hangs around, an ominous end to a tense exchange, but it was Nooski's back and forth with Mubu Crump that was even more alarming. Crump said that he wouldn't shoot Nooski because he's a civilian, to which Nooski replied, Crump is gonna die soon, just watch. Ending the exchange by saying stop the talking, I'm going to show you. This would be an unfortunate exchange that would come back to haunt Nooski. Because a little while after these tweets, on the 31st of May 2014, around 3.19pm, Nooski would get caught by his enemies in the streets with grave consequences. Nooski had been out buying shoes on 87th Street, where he was seemingly spotted and trailed by three enemies. He parked at the Chatham Village Square Mall at College Grove and 87th Street, and sat in the parking lot texting someone on his phone whilst waiting for his girl to come out the store. And while he was sat there, two out of the three people that had been following him, hopped out of the car, walked up and shot Nooski before fleeing the scene. At this point, Nooski was still alive. In fact, he crashed his car into the Be Fresh clothing store trying to escape the shooters. So after being shot and crashing his car into the store, Nooski was still breathing with a faint pulse. At this point, a bystander even tries to give medical attention to the still alive Nooski, but is stopped by a police officer responding on the scene. The cops say that this is a crime scene and that they're not allowed to touch Nooski, despite him still being alive. So Nooski is left there for 15 minutes, bleeding out from serious gunshot wounds with no medical assistance at which point he unfortunately passes away in front of shocked onlookers. Now, if you ask me, I would say that's pure evil from the Chicago PD, and they are just as responsible as the shooters for Nooski's death. And so, as a direct result of both the beef in the streets and the incredibly dirty tactics of the Chicago PD, Nooski is left dead at the young age of 24. But to make this even more heartbreaking, it would turn out that this killing happened only two days after Lil Durk had secured Nooski a record deal. Signing his deal, like two days before he got killed. Yeah. Following his cousin's shocking passing, Dirk posted a heartfelt tribute on his Instagram, saying words can't even explain. Nooski, just like you told me, we got a win. He also tweeted out Nooski gang and thanked his friends and family for getting in touch with words of support at this horrible time. And of course, Dirk later got a Nooski tattoo on his knuckles, honoring his fallen cousin in flesh. But unfortunately, as is the way in these Chicago street beefs, after Nooski passed away, the ops were dissing him heavily, suggesting that his fate was the direct result of his tweets and that he shouldn't have been in these streets. <laughs> Nooski got killed, bro. Boy, you have the pennies on street shit. <laughs> and Nooski was a ball player, y'all. That's what that's what Lil Reese said when he died. Mubu Crump very heartlessly pointed out the irony of Nooski threatening to kill him just before the shooting took place. Look, you wanna know why I say Nooski name all the time? Because Nooski told me he was gonna kill me, bro. So then it was funny to me when he got clapped. To me, that statement sounds incredibly suspicious. And also, for balance and fairness, I also just want to point out that the guy that Mubu Crumb is arguing with in this video would go on to reveal that Mubu Crumb actually got knocked out at that brawl at the TI in store. I remember the dog pound beat the shit out your ass, knocked you the fuck out for you double like this and shit. When he hit your ass, he was like this. He knocked me out. Like, come on, fool. You know what happened, fool. Okay. You know what happened at the yeah, Hold on, nigga. You know what happened? So let's keep it You know what happened when T.I. was trying to promote his clothes at the shop? Anywho, apparently unable to stop disrespecting the fallen, Crump later found himself at the very scene of Nooski's passing, mocking the tragedy, I assume, with the sole purpose of hurting Lil Durk. Them left uh, Chino. I mean, Nooski. They left his ass right here. You feel me? They left his ass up here on folks and tweak. Buy some shoes. Y'all see, y'all see real niggas be up here though. Nigga play with me up here on folks and this bills with bitch on the news. I look like news. Crump even went as far as to say that he was with the person who did it, but they didn't want to be on camera. I'm with the nigga that did, he don't want to be on camera though. Hit his ass already on pack. Yeah, and they say I'm the police. Anywho, even as late as 2020, we've seen the likes of 6 9 disrespecting Nooski's name with the sole purpose of upsetting Lil Dirk. With 6 going to Chicago to pretend to pay his respects to Dirk's fallen cousin, in the wrong location, by the way, just to promote his album. Horrible stuff. But if there's one thing that's clear, it's that Mubu Crump clearly didn't have the security budget of 6 9 Because on May the 24th, 2018, Mubu Crump is photographed outside of a party along with 051 Melly. This picture accidentally gave away their location, giving the ops the drop on them. And soon after this photo was taken, both Crump and Melly were the targets of a drive-by shooting. Both were hit and Crump died at the scene, in a chaotic incident that was even captured on camera, but is far too grisly to show you on YouTube. Mubu Crump's shocking demise likely came as good news to Lil Durk, which is probably why on Back in Blood, Dirk famously says he was dissing on my cousin, now his asshole in that wood, huh? Now this might seem extreme, but let's not forget that Crump's disrespect for Lil Durk's fallen brothers 
went far beyond his cousin Nooski. 